Jesse Howard, little boy and the preacher man. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard anything, Jesse Howard. But uh, didn't even know I was 30 seconds behind. Yeah, you better catch up, Junior. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah, little boy and the preacher man. I don't know if I've ever heard this. Uh, sure haven't seen the video. Maybe I'll recognize the song. Maybe I won't. But uh, yeah, before we dive in, if you like what you hear here, I'll link their channel in the description below. You can find them there and show me some love. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, all right? Let's do it. It's awfully quiet. There we go. Smoking bad. Stop smoking. Sunday morning after church, the preacher was shaking hands. A little boy walked up and said, Can I please talk to you, preacher man? He said, My daddy left my mama and me, and it's been a couple years. And my mama's boyfriend don't like me much, especially after a couple of beers. Sometimes when he hits me, I close my eyes real tight And I wish that place you always talk about was real with all my might Is heaven real? Cause I can't wait to go I can't wait to know how heaven feels Good acting Is there a Of course there is. No more need for crying Cause I can't wait I can't To live on a real place Wow, that kid's doing a good job acting That's sad stuff Well, the preacher man didn't know what to say And before the little boy turned and walked away the preacher says, son, would you like to pray? Let's go. Right there, the little boy hit his knees, and he cried out, Lord, help me, please, because I don't know how much more pain I can take. And he looked up with him, tears in his eyes. He said, preacher, man, I don't want to die. But I just want to know if there's a better place Is heaven real? Cause I can't wait to go I can't wait to go I can't wait to know how heaven feels Is there a place Where there's no more pain or dying No more, pain or dying. No more need for crying Cause I can't wait The preacher man got a call Little boys in a hospital doing bad And a mama's boyfriend's running from a law Wow When the preacher walked in the boy's hospital room A little boy whispered, can you see him too? There's an angel standing right beside you, preacher man Now I know heaven's real And I can't wait to get there Wait. Wait. Boy's not dying, is he? What are they saying? The kid didn't die, right? No, no. 45 years it old. works. I don't need you to tell me what to do. See it? I'll bet there's a kid in there again. In the store. Man. Yeah, really sad song and uh This hits hard years ago when my dad pastored a church in the mountains. We had a we had a little 
A little? I think you're missing a word in there, Minnie. We had a little. We would pick. And he loved church. His dad, we had a little boy? Little boy? His dad was an alcoholic and hated him. Put his hands over a fire. Put the boy's hands over a fire? That's sad, man. That's really sad, man. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, man. Yeah, I didn't like seeing that guy raise his hand like that. No. Kind of like, uh... Brings a little PTSD out of me, right? Um, I didn't have it as rough as this kid in the story did. You know, I didn't have it that rough. Uh, I was never put in the hospital or nothing, but I've been beat. <laughs> I've been beat. I've taken a little bit of abuse. Um, And it wasn't a stepdad, you know, a stepdad father figure. It was actual dad, right? And, uh, you no, know, uh, yeah, I was always scared of my dad. I was always scared of my dad. Loved my dad as a kid growing up, but I was always scared of him. Never knew what he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? Never knew. Never knew. The littlest, the littlest stupid thing could set him off. Stupidest, littlest thing could set him off, and you just never know. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Like, like I was such, like I was such a burden. You know, I, I, I've had my faults. I've had my wrongs. You know, uh, I was a bit of a troublemaker. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, I guess, I guess in his eyes, he could say I deserved it, but. I was never really loved, man. I was never really loved the way I should have, you know. Always walked on eggshells, right? Yeah, yeah. You just never, you just never know. The stupidest, littlest thing could set him off. Um. And yeah, sometimes I deserved it. Sometimes I didn't. But did I really deserve that, though? I don't know, man. It's like people, people punish in different ways, but you know, I don't know. Sometimes it felt like he got a little more pleasure out of doing the punishment. And it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was out of love. It was out of like, I hate you, I'm sick of you. You're a burden. You get under my skin. You know, get out of my sight. That kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah. Some of these scenes kind of brought a little PTSD out of me. But I, I'm good, though, right? Like, I, I'm good. I don't know why that's still there. Probably because me and my dad haven't talked. We haven't talked about nothing. Although I forgive him. I forgive him. And I understand, right? I understand. I forgive him. And you know, I forgive him because he knew not what he does. He didn't know what he was doing, right? So sorry about that, Brandon. It's all right. It, it's so far in the past, but... I mean, maybe there is still a little bit of hurt there. There is still a little bit of hurt. You know what's crazy is, uh, although I've forgiven others, sometimes God still wants you to talk to him in person. Like the story I told you guys about the guy that, that hurt me in the past. Hurt me in the past. And, and uh, God ended up having me reconcile with him, uh, letting him know that I forgive him, and then, after I left the gym, later on, he ended up apologizing in a message, you know, and so on and so forth. But uh, sometimes hurt lingers if there is no closure. Yeah, there's not really any closure. There isn't. And, uh, yeah, but I still forgive my dad because I get it, man. I, did, I, I totally get it. And I, and I touched on this, I touched on this like the other night, the other day. You know, because he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't have the example. He didn't have the example of love. And so, you know, breaking generational curses, right, Junior? His dad didn't have a good loving example. And so it passed on to him and he passed it on to me. And, you know, so I get it. I get it. That's why I forgive. That's why I let it go. Because I understand. I see now. I understand clearly. 
And so I can't I can't blame him. You know, I'm just going to forgive and let it go. But yeah, we haven't really sat down and talked about nothing. So, you know, maybe one of these days, maybe one of these days when God softens his heart up a little bit more. But uh yeah, God will open that door when the time is right. Just like how he did with uh an old mutual friend from my past. Uh Although I forgave him, still God wanted me to talk to him in person and tell him that I forgive him and I've let it go and that I'm trying to heal from it, to touch their heart and in turn, they end up giving me the apology that I, my, I might need for that door to end up closing, to get some kind of closure on it, right? Maybe I need to hear dad say sorry, you know? Maybe, maybe in the future, maybe one of these days I'll hear Dad say I'm sorry, you know, and that'll help heal the pain a little bit more. But yeah, anyways, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I totally forgive. I get it, you know, I, I get it. I, I let it go. I forgive. But yeah, I've never had an apology. Never had an apology. But like I said, sometimes I deserved it. But did I really deserve it though? The to the extent that it went to. Sometimes it was some crazy, <laughs> uh, beating me with the belt for dang near half a mile. Keep walking. Every step you take, I'm going to hit you with the belt. So some crazy punishments. Every step you take, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm hit you with the belt. Take a step and you stop. Whack! Keep walking. Whack! Don't put your hands behind there. Don't put your hands behind there. And every time I put my hands behind to cover my butt, he'd hit my hands and my, my fingers would, would get swollen. Keep walking. Whack. No, don't take two steps. You take one step and you stand. Whack. Don't put your hands back there. Whack. And it's like my fingers were sprained. Swollen, purple. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, maybe I do need an apology. Maybe I do need an apology. That's abuse, not punishment. That's what I'm saying. It's like... It didn't feel like it was out of love, you know? If you're going to punish your kid, it's a different kind of punishment, and, it, and it's out of love. It's out of love to where when the kid grows up, they're going to understand, oh, it's because they love me. And they care about me, right? Yeah, and it was out of like, you're a nuisance to me, I'm sick of you, you get under my skin. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna beat this beat the crap out of you. Get out of my sight. I'm sick of you. I'm tired of you. That's what it felt like. It was never out of love, really. Anyways, anyways, moving on, dude. My grandson showed me this video. He said, Look, Mimi, this song's almost like my true life story. I couldn't help but cry. My sweet grandson is a survivor of severe child abuse. He almost died before his fourth birthday. I thank God he's still here with me now. He'll be eleven years old this summer. This is a very powerful song. As a pastor and a man, this song is very powerful. We as men should be there to protect our wives and children. Please, God, continue to cover and protect all the women and children that have to deal with abuse. In Jesus' name. Let's go. As a 42-year-old man who's been the little boy and is now a foster dad trying to adopt his first baby, unable to make my own, I felt this down to my core. Great song, brother. Good stuff. I love this song. Finally, someone is telling my story. Fortunately, I graduated and joined the Army. I got out as far as way as possible. Retired from the Army and became a teacher. Never looked back until now. That's good stuff, man. Uh, everyone, that was Jesse Howard, Little Boy and the Preacher. Good stuff, man. If you like what you heard here, I'll link his channel below. You can find him there. Show him some love and show me some love. All right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you on the other side.